Okay, we got Sophie here, and she's come a long way. We've been grooming her f since uh, April 2018. So we're looking at three months. We've gotten to the point where I was telling Dad, you know, we must do a 20-minute walk. 20 minute brisk walk right before the grooming every time and they did they went a mile almost a mile he said and uh, she is just she still came in pretty happy right you pretty happy <laughs> so we're gonna do a four guard all over and we usually use a cone she's pretty uh, feisty for her front feet and she still is they said they're brushing her but she does this pulling thing and I told them it's basically her character that's just feistiness you gotta get him out of that uh, he said uh, she's a puppy, she's sm young still, which is true, but you have to bite them out of that, okay? She is not a little baby in my hand anymore. Uh, she will bite and do all these things if she doesn't want to cooperate. And if you guys don't know the the back history of her, she was uh, turned away from other groomers, went to three groomers. Um, they were referred to me because they, she's pretty wild was the way they called it. Uh, so I've been grooming her a few times now, and then we're going to see how she does with her face and stuff. Uh, it's, last time we did have a little bit of improvement, but she, I, I just basically said we need to be brought, we need to do the brisk walk 20 minutes immediately before the grooming, before you come in, um, because it shouldn't be this difficult. And look at her now. She's uh, in this situation. She's she's quite calm. What do you guys say? So let's get in there, get started, and see how she goes. I'm actually gonna. I was gonna, I'm just play, you have you play it each time by ear. So we're gonna put the cone head on. I'm gonna put the cone head on, okay? Okay. She likes to correct me. And today I'm actually going to demo out, uh, continue demo, demoing the EBC clipper. And we're gonna do a four guard down all over. So get your blade here, get your four guard on there. demoing these because they're pretty inexpensive clippers and I want you guys doing it at home and not the groomer to have a they are doing the brushing a lot better they bought a comb last time and she said the mom said it, it definitely shows a difference the comb doesn't lie she said you were exactly right so I did oil my blades this morning, um, which is great to oil your blades after the grooming. That's the best time to do them, not before. So if we have any clumpage, it would be because of that. She's doing a lot better. She hates her front feet, so we'll see how it goes when we get to that. I may be able to take the cone off, we'll see. I do not like the length of the cord on the EVCs. These, uh, you'll definitely need an extension cord. If you don't have them, we'll put them on the website.
the these blades it, so there's more hair left in there than normal because the the clipper doesn't work as fast as your Andis five speed so you're going to want to clean that clipper blade more often I'm actually going to come in with a five blade, which I don't always use my five blades to do her front legs. Since she's not liking it, I think that this is going to help us big time. Just go down the leg a couple times and we're done. Come here, come here, come here. This is not, this is, this is just like that other dog, isn't it? this all on her own she's scratching me I know I'm not even doing anything at that point that's her so I should be able to shave down these very fast it shouldn't take that long it should not be a big deal Pulling and fighting, it's not going uh, the best. Eat, like her feet, you can't tell, like arguing with her paw. Okay, let me just show you, like right here. So normally I'm grabbing and holding pretty tight so I can manage what I need to do. But she is pulling and doing all that, which uh, it's, it's so short a time that you're in there. You need to, that's why you need to have enough experience to tell the pet parent what you need because in 40 minute groom you know this should this is where we're wasting time she doesn't like it anyway so we want to move quickly but we spend so much time just kind of arguing you know back and forth pulling back and forth not getting along not wanting to cooperate and so when you are a groomer and you can tell by uh, dogs like the other day the golden that golden doodle that let me brush her and demat her you know that they are capable right 
with the proper guidance. They're capable of doing chilling for like 10 minutes, right? They're, they're capable of that. It's, it's, what, it's as if, we, you know, it just depends on what we, use, what we learn and what we train. That's not okay with me. That's not okay with me. No. I have a very low tolerance for that stuff. Stop. Stop. So she thinks if she bucks, I stop, right? She's not really cooperating. Stop. Okay, so at this point, we're going to do nails with the pet parent here, and we're just going to finish up some other stuff. We're going to finish up. This is really getting annoying. I'm not happy. No. 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 parents said barely anything off the face so it is what it is I'm going to just take take a little stuff off here something they wanted a little off the head and nothing off the face but shape up blah 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 I'm like does that mean you want stuff off does that mean you don't want stuff off So she's on the table, she's standing there, she looks like she's just going to be great, you know?
All right, we're going to the back. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry, you guys. I, I am exhausted. I am uh, just tired. It's like every dog seems to be so aggressive and wild and have these characteristics that you know that they don't, they don't really need to be there. And today I'm just exhausted. We all get exhausted, but I am exhausted. Okay, so outside of that, I am do demoing the EBC clippers for you guys. The only reason I'm carrying this, okay, this is not for myself, and this is not for groomers, okay? This is for a pet parent grooming their own dog. I get so many times where people want a low cost clipper and uh, we are gonna, we, you can see the website we have brought in the walls for you guys too. This is a hundred dollar clipper. I mean, it is inexpensive. The, it is not my equipment. It's not the Andis 5 speed. Matter of fact, I'm done with using it. It's driving me crazy. It's a little slower. It is slower, which means slower means the teeth move back and forth. Brrr. So the motor runs, the teeth move back and forth, the teeth cut the hair, right? So when you want to be cheap and you want to save money, you have to give up something. So here you're giving up the length of the cord, you're giving up uh, the speed of the clipper, and because of the speed of the clipper, you may be also giving up some other things. But is it a $100 clipper that you can bring on into your home? Yeah. Um, you're still going to have to maintain it. You're still going to want to take this uh, guard off. You have your blade, push this button, take the blade off. You're still gonna have to sharpen your blade depending on how often you use it. Maybe every couple years, if you only do one dog at home, if you do two or three dogs at home, maybe sharpen your blade, send it into me, I'll get it sharpened for you with the and a certified sharpener. You might use the blade sharpener once a year, once every two years, if you have just a minor, minor pet. You're still gonna have to maintain your blade drive. That's this little black thing that moves back and forth. When you turn it on, it's moving back and forth, moving the blade back and forth. You might have to maintain that, which is take this apart and replace it. You might re replace that on once every two years if you have a few dogs a month versus uh, eight, eight dogs a day. You're gonna replace that at least once a year, okay? You want to. I have, there's been times I haven't, and I was like, maybe it's about time to replace that. Um, you'll be able, you'll have to take it all off and be careful. I can definitely tell the plastic, it seems a little thinner, you know, like the, the quality's just downgraded because they're trying to save over $100 on the clipper, over 100 So it's a little slower. It, it's, it'll do you great. It, it might run, you might run out of life sooner than mine. I've been using my Andis 5 Speed for almost five years, uh, at least, at least three, not more than five, right, right at the edge of that right now probably going into over a little over four years, almost five years. And mine's dirty, but this cord is really long. It's much lighter than this one. Not by a huge difference, but it, it's like right there. It feels, it feels very similar, but this feels a little just, the plastic's different. The plastic has rubber here. You know, there's some differences, but you can see me grooming Sophie. It's working out well, okay? So definitely, if you want a low-cost clipper, this is a good one to bring on into your family. So I hope that helps you guys know that it'll work. This one will be, it's a demoed one, obviously. I used it for two dogs. I used it for less than 20 minutes. So this will be $5 off. So go order at myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. Go under the clippers and you'll see the EBC. It comes with a case and everything. The shipping's gonna be a little different because it is a, a bigger item. but. Um, that'll help you guys with the EBC clipper. So thanks for watching. Um, I, I have more homework for the pet parents. I'm just going to say we need to walk more. I, I have to ask them how they're walking Sophie. If they're walking her on a leash and the leash is out in front of them and she's running back and forth, that's not how you have to walk. You literally should have her right, and I talk about this all the time, you should walk her with a lead and sh or, yeah, with a lead, a simple lead, right? A simple leash collar and she's right behind my heel I'm the leader she's following me that's how she should be walked briskly um, she should come in like wore out uh, and I don't even think that'll help it's gonna be that plus grooming her at home brushing every day you have to brush and maybe not because she's tangled maybe because we're just training her to let the groomer mess with her front legs right she becomes a wild animal with those so We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know next time. We uh, showed minor improvement, but as soon as we started messing with her legs, I mean, she was back to 
it didn't matter. It didn't matter what we did, right? So we just got. I need to double check and make sure that they are actually um, did what I asked them to do. And how are they? There's. It's like, hey, how are you bathing your dog? Oh, I throw him in the bathroom. I take him out. I don't do anything. I don't even use shampoo. Well, there's a different. You know, you never know how they're doing something. So you got to ask those questions to make sure you're on the same track. Otherwise, we're never going to have improvement. So, all right, we'll be back.
Stop. Stop.
All right, we are done with Sophie. I'm going to do the toenails with the pet parent holding. I think we still have a long ways to go, but she is not as bad as some that we've done. Though she doesn't do anything. Okay, I take that back. Um, so she's uh, jumped up and scratched David's back. How do you scratch the groomer, you know, the, the helper, the groomer helper, whatever you want to call it. How do you scratch that per a person's back while you're grooming? That means there's some serious wildness that needs to be kicked out, okay? So it's not that they need a brush because her hair's not in good condition. It's not that. It's just getting her used to it. So that's why training on brushing is so important. What she does here, she's sitting here doing great, but what she does in the bathtub, what she does in the drying, what she does when I'm messing with her front feet. And so we'll, we'll put apart bits and pieces of that. That all has to be trained out of her. That's not normal responses. If there is training going on, that's not normal. Okay, so that's why I'm just keep adamant about saying those things. We can do this all day long, but that's not all that grooming entails. It isn't just this stuff. But uh, I, do, I do know you're so smart. You beat the system. You're beating the system. I think she's conning her parents to think that it hurts and they, they don't want to do, you know, the, the pet parents said, do you think she has a, you know, and I said, no, she doesn't have anything wrong with her. She's being ornery like this. This doesn't hurt. What I'm doing right now doesn't hurt. Her picking up her foot is telling me, stop it. I don't want that. Stop it. Stop it. That's saying stop it. That's not because there's pain there. I'm barely touching. I'm barely doing this. It's not painful. You're tricking your parents. I know that's what's happening. If you were my dog, we would do this every night. Every night. I would be like, you are not getting away with that no more. No more. <laughs> no more. All right. Thanks for watching, Sophie. And this is probably her third or fourth groom on video. So um, I should put her on a playlist. Right? Put you on a playlist. Huh? And put you on a playlist. She's so smart. She really is. She she really has it in her to uh, be better. You should be better than what you do. Just jumping up and down thing. We're past that. This jumping up and down thing. Stop it. Hmm. Hmm. Are you done? You not ready to go home? You ready to go? <laughs> Take a while. It might take six toenail trims, but we'll get to, we'll get to a different place if we do it this way. Just remind me next time too. What's that? This exact hole. This hole. You guys doing this and. You want me to turn around? Yeah. Okay. Here, baby. Come on, this way. It's okay. It's okay. Baby. You got it, Mom. You got this. You get a tree. job you guys girl. okay we'll talk about that in a second okay so I'm really glad I captured that little moment I kind of forgot to put record but I had pet parent and which is mom who's doing all the brushing at home she was able to hold the pet and really hold good I kept telling her, don't let go don't let go I set her up real good and I, the pet was fighting wanted to jump up and I was like no don't don't do that and we, we didn't capture that but that's what you want to do with your client now I have them on track to practice that at home daily, have the dad holding the foot acting like he's going to do a nail trim and the mom holding, bracing herself and the dog will actually pint. I call it pint as a, you're going to go, uh, and you're going to go, uh, uh. okay, I'm done fighting. So the dog is going to do those steps and that is going to help us as long as each nail trim that I do 
I don't quit the vein. I don't hit the vein. As long as there is no pain involved after the pinch, right? You go, oh no, don't do it. And then you go, oh, well, there's no pain. Hmm. You know? So if you do that five or six times, which is, I mean, with the five or six more grooms to go, we should be in a better place. Maybe not a perfect place, but we will show improvement. So I can't fix that here. I can't fix five, five of those. They can fix that. If they did that every day, I think we would fix it in about a month, but they have to be doing it every day. She has to get used to no pain after the pint, after fighting the nail trim. So I think that something went down with the nails before she got here. Uh, the very, this is about as much nail as I could take off without hitting the vein. So every pet's different and you still want to do a nail trim because we still want to get her used to it. There's a sliver on her nails, because she's young, I think she's four or five months old, on her nails, there's not much to take off. If you go half in and take it off with the vein and everything, oh gosh, the pain involved with that is horrendous. So we're on track. As a matter of fact, she came in today with no knots. Mom used the brush and comb. She got a comb last time. So it's such a big deal when she's, she, if, if the dog had knots or mats, right? How, come on, it would be worse. It, it, not even worse, it would be like triple worse, right? Because it's so painful. Dean matting and brushing and t untangling and then not doing it. You know, you get, you, you guys watch, you guys know this. So brush daily, use a comb to check. It doesn't lie. And that's how you, the procedure of going through how to get your dog used to the nail trim. That's what you're going to do at home. You're going to do those few steps that I talked about. If you have any questions, let me know. Get your brush and comb kit at myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. And it is frustrating. Sometimes, you know, it really is frustrating and it's hard to groom the, these wild animals. But at the end of the day, when you start seeing improvement, it, it really is worth it. So if you are grooming a dog like that and you don't want to do it, quit right there. Just say, I cannot help you anymore. Send them somewhere they, they will. And hopefully you guys know that if you have a wild animal, ask the right questions. Don't just take any, any cheap, low cost groom. You want to make sure you know what, what's going on that pet groomer knows what they're doing with animals like that because it could essentially I mean I'm frustrated but I'm not taking it out on the animal so you want to make sure you know what what's going on okay and then that's why I record everything all right thanks a lot for watching decor with my favorite room on YouTube I appreciate you all so much thanks bye